Welcome to our Nourish Self-Care Circle Yoga Practice. We'll start seated, so make yourself comfortable sitting up on a little bit of height if you need to make your hips and your knees more relaxed. You can sit with one or both legs stretched out in front of you, or in easy pose with one foot resting in front of the other. Take a little rock on your sits bones until you feel balanced, and then start to bring a gentle length into your spine as you lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Start by resting your palms either in your lap or onto your thighs. Hands can be face up or face down. And then soften your gaze or close your eyes and begin to invite your attention inward. As you drop your awareness into the space of your body, start to notice your breath coming and going in and out of your nose. Gradually deepening each breath in, lengthening each breath out. Keep lifting through the sternum as you soften through the shoulders. And take a few more deep breaths here, expanding the rib cage outwards in all directions with each inhale. And softening the whole body with each exhale. Feel free to take a moment to stretch the legs out and give the knees a shake if you need to. Legs can stay extended if that's better for your joints. Otherwise, come back into easy pose, resting one foot in front of the other, perhaps taking the opposite foot forward to bring balance into the body. And then turn the palms down onto the legs. As you inhale, lift your chest forward and up, gaze up, shoulders back and down as you open up the front of the body. Exhale to round through the spine, chin to chest, gently hug the navel in. Inhale, reaching forward and up, extending through the spine, gazing up. And exhale to round the spine, chin to chest, navel in. Continue this at your own pace, syncing up your movement with your breath. You can keep your gaze soft or your eyes closed. Start to listen for the sound of the breath as you move through the spine. And take a few more rounds of breath here. Next time you inhale, just come to a neutral spine, sitting tall. And stretch the legs forward and loosen up the knees and then make your way on to all fours once you're on your hands and your knees align your palms under your shoulders knees underneath your hips take a deep breath in reach the right hand up towards the ceiling opening up the chest and as you exhale weave your right arm underneath your left coming to rest on your right shoulder and the right cheek or you can always add a pillow underneath the right cheek if that's better for the neck Imagine you're trying to cross the right shoulder in front of the left knee, so you're twisting deeply through the spine. Settling in here, noticing how the neck feels. As long as it feels supported, you could start to tiptoe your left fingertips a little further forward, bringing more length down the left side of the body. Keep a bend in the elbow. Start to roll that left shoulder back as if you're trying to open your chest up more towards the sky. Sink the right arm down into the floor and away from you. Notice the quality of your breath here and make sure your neck feels safe and comfortable. You can come out of this anytime you need to. You're welcome to stay here. If your neck feels so fully supported and your breath is really steady, engage your abdominal muscles and use your next inhale to stretch your left leg out to the side, tucking your toes under on the floor off of the mat. Using that foot to help you weave the right arm deeper into your twist and open the chest more towards the ceiling. Left fingertips can stay on the earth, or you could rest your left palm on your left hip to your low back, or reach that arm up into the air and let the back of the hand fall away from you. Wherever you're at, make sure your neck is not experiencing any pain. Make sure your breath stays steady.
As you breathe out, slowly lower the left palm down if it's raised, and lower your left knee. Press your left hand into the floor as you inhale, reach the right palm back up towards the sky, and then exhale to plant the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Inhale the left palm up towards the ceiling, open up the chest, and exhale to weave the left arm underneath the right, coming to rest on the left ear and the left cheek, or add more support underneath the left cheek if you need to. And notice how your neck feels here. And if it feels okay and you'd like to walk your right fingertips a little further forward, go for it. Keep a bend in the elbow so you can roll the right shoulder into the back of the body and start to open up the chest. Make sure your breath is still flowing freely. And if so, engage your abdominal muscles and use your inhale to stretch your right leg out, tucking the toes under on the floor off the mat. Your right palm can stay on the earth or it could rest on the right hip to the low back or reach up in the air. You go where it feels best for your body. Now slowly lower the right hand back to the floor and lower the right knee. Press the right palm into the earth as you inhale, sweep your left hand back up towards the ceiling and then exhale to lower the left palm to the floor. Give your body a moment here to make any little movements that feel good for you, moving through your neck or your spine, through your hips. And then coming back to neutral and scooching yourself back on your mat a little so there's quite a bit of sticky space out in front of you. Align your hips directly over your knees and start with your palms underneath your shoulders. From here, take a big step forward with the hands, a foot or two feet forward, keeping them shoulder width apart. As you exhale, let your chest and your head melt towards the earth. It's called melting heart pose. Be conscious of your shoulders. If there's any pain or discomfort in those joints, make sure you come back to child's pose and just rest the upper body. Your forehead could rest on a cushion or the floor. Your head can hang. Stay active in your hands, pressing them down into the earth as the heart melts towards the mat. And breathe into all four sides of your rib cage. From here, as you inhale, slowly walk yourself back up to all fours, and then exhale back into child's pose, laying the tops of the feet on the mat, take your bum back towards your heels, and rest your arms where your shoulders can soften. Let the forehead be heavy, whether it's resting on stacked palms or on the floor, and breathe deeply into your abdomen. Stretch your palms out in front of you, hands shoulder width apart. Gaze up to the top of the mat, and as you inhale, carefully draw your chin and chest between your hands. Elbows can move out to the sides as you slide forward onto the belly. Stretch your legs out behind you, tops of the feet on the floor. Bring the big toes to touch and relax your heels to the sides. Keep the hands under the shoulders. Elbows hug in towards the sides of the rib cage, and touch your forehead down. Sink your pubic bone into the floor and reach your tailbone towards your heels to lengthen your low back. You only lift up as high as feels comfortable and safe for your body. Let's contract the abdominal muscles. With an inhale, lift your head and chest forward and up into cobra pose. Roll the shoulders back and down and hug the elbows in. You can gaze forward or up. Keep breathing deeply and make sure there's no discomfort in your lower back. And take one more inhale here, lifting up. And slowly as you exhale, lower your chest and your head. Press your palms into the earth, engage your core, inhale back up to your hands and your knees. Bring your knees and your feet together, tops of the feet on the floor, and slowly sit back onto your heels. If this bothers your knee joints, you can always add a pillow between your seat and your heels to give your knees more space, or come to sit in a different way that feels better for your body. Sitting tall, bringing the ribs over the pelvis, the head over the rib cage. With your next inhale, reach both arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, and press your palms up towards the sky. As you exhale, round through your spine, bring the arms parallel to the floor, chin to chest, pressing the palms away from you. Inhale to sweep the hands behind you as you lengthen the spine, interlace your fingers, and extend your arms in yoga mudra. And then exhale the hands back to the lap. 
We'll do that a couple more times. Big breath in, sweeping the arms wide and up. Interlace the fingers and press the palms to the sky. Then exhale to round through the spine, chin to chest, palms pressing away, opening up through the upper back. Inhale, sweep the hands behind you as you lengthen the spine. Interlace your fingers and extend the arms, opening up across the chest. Exhale, the palms to the lap. Last round, big breath in, sweeping the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, press the palms to the ceiling. Exhale to round the spine. Inhale the hands behind you for yoga mudra, sitting tall as you open up through the chest. And then exhale the palms to the lap. From here as you inhale, lift your bum away from your heels, bring your knees hip width apart. Tops of the feet on the, can be on the floor, or you may tuck your toes, so find what feels better for your body. Reaching the crown of the head up, take the hands to the low back, fingertips pointing down, baby fingers touching slightly, and then roll your shoulders back and hug your elbows towards one another. Draw the navel in and up as you lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling and hug the elbows towards each other. You may stay here, gazing forward, or as you exhale, you may start to tip your head back, lifting your gaze towards the sky. Keep lengthening the spine, reaching out through the crown of the head. If it feels safe for your spine, you can start to back bend a little bit more, using the palms on the low back to support you and keeping the low back long rather than compressed. Keep drawing the navel in and up, soften your lower jaw and your throat. Take deep breaths here, coming out anytime you need to. Use your next inhale to draw your gaze forward, stacking your spine. As you exhale, lower your palms down to the mat in front of you. Place your hands slightly ahead of your shoulders, shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers wide, and with your knees under your hips, tuck your toes. As you exhale, relax your head down and engage your core. Use your inhale to lift your knees, extending your spine and then your legs in downward dog. With the hips reaching up high, let the chest sink towards the thighs, lengthening through the spine. And slowly as you inhale, walk your feet towards your hands, making your way into a forward fold. Standing at the top of the mat with the feet hip width apart, the upper body dangling down. You can cradle the elbows or hold the backs of the legs, try to relax your neck completely Feel free to deepen the bend in your knees if that makes your lower back more comfortable. And let the hands dangle down towards the floor. Keep a little bend in your knees, your chin in towards your chest. And press your feet into the earth. Draw your navel in and up as you inhale. Slowly roll yourself up to standing. And lifting your head up last. Once the head lifts up, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the crown of the head towards the sky, and come to Tadasan, Mountain Pose. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here, feeling the feet on the earth as you lift the crown of the head to the sky, breathing into the front, back, and sides of the ribcage. As you inhale, reach your arms out wide to the sides at shoulder height. Use your exhale, cross the right arm over the left, and either wrap your palms around, giving yourself a nice big hug, or take eagle arms, drawing the backs of the hands or palms to touch, lifting the elbows up slightly. Take a few deep breaths here into the upper back, stay rooted through the feet, and lift through the crown of the head. As you inhale, open up the arms wide to the sides. This time as you exhale, take the left arm over the right and either wrap the palms around in a big hug or bring backs of the hands or palms together in eagle arms, lifting the elbows up as the tips of the shoulder blades sink down towards the floor. A few deep breaths here into the upper back. As you breathe in, open the arms up wide, lift the chest. Exhale to relax the arms down, taking your hands to your low back. Interlace your fingers there. Start with bent elbows. Roll the shoulders back. Sink down through the four corners of the feet as you rise up through the crown of the head. And you may stay here, or as you exhale, you could extend your arms, reaching the knuckles of the hands down towards the floor. Take a few deep breaths as you open up across the chest.
Exhale to release the hands, arms resting alongside the body. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Bringing your awareness into the body, noticing the breath. Tuning into your heartbeat. Take a few moments to be still here. When you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes and re-enter your day. Namaste.